In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix problems with Affinity Designer, Photo and Publisher when either the menu system disappears or becomes blurred. So let me give you a quick demonstration. So this is Affinity Photo. And if you have a high-end um, PC with a certain graphics card, it may have a software program called Namamic installed. This is a audio enhancing software program which um, is known to cause problems with Affinity products as well as others. So if I put my cursor along some of the buttons here, you may find that they disappear from time to time. So you can see the files that disappeared. You may also go to export and you can see that area there becomes blurred. So this can happen at any time on any of the functions on this particular program. So to, to fix this problem is quite simple. So we need to go into the services. So I'm on a Windows 11 PC. The process may be slightly different if you're using an older version. So look for the search icon on your bottom taskbar. Click that. Then type in services into the top box. Use the SEV is enough. So click on that app. You can also find that app through the menu system. So click on the Windows icon. Then all apps. Then click on Windows tools. And you can also find services there. So click on that. So this particular program will be listed alphabetically. So look for the letter N. I will also put this in the description box so you can find it. So the, there it is, Namamic service. So what we can do, we can left click to highlight it and we can stop the program. So wait for that to be completed. Now the best thing to do to test this is to actually close your Infinity product and restart it. So let's close that a minute and let's open that up again. So I now try to test the product. So I'm putting my cursor along the top and so far everything's looking good. They're not disappearing. I try to the export option and you can see that doesn't become blurred. So that has fixed the problem. If that does fix the problem in your case, what you need to do is to disable that program completely. So go back to services and back to the option here. So what you want to do again is highlight it and this time right click on your mouse or your touchpad, then select properties. Then from the startup type, instead of automatic, change it to disabled. Then click apply, click OK, and then that program will no longer start. So hopefully that will fix your problem. Thanks for watching.